the equipment you should have for the penny battery experiment. First, add some salt to your water and stir this together thoroughly. This makes your conductive liquid. You're going to need to add enough salt so that you can still see some in the bottom of the water even after it's been stirred together. Now we can start building our battery. I'm going to start by putting one of the zinc washers on the bottom of the pile. Then I'm going to take one of my paper circles, dip it gently in the salt water so that it's only just wet and then carefully place it on top of the zinc washer. Then I'm going to get one of the copper coins and place it on top of the paper circle. And that's our first cell complete. We have our two different metals, the zinc and the copper, separated by the salt water contained within the paper circle. So now we're going to repeat the same process again, building up the zinc washers, salt water paper, and the copper penny. It's important to make sure that these are lined up properly to make sure that there is no water dripping down the outside of your cell and that the paper circle doesn't hang down uh, and touch other paper circles down the outside either. And all we do now is keep building the cells until we run out of materials. There should be enough in your pack to be able to build a stack made up of five individual cells one on top of the other. So that's my five cells stacked together. If I hold this up to the camera, you should be able to see all the cells are stacked in the same way, one on top of the other. So now I'm going to put the battery back down on my foil and we can test to see if the battery works using the LED. We're going to place one leg of the LED on the foil and the other on the top of the battery. LEDs can be quite fiddly as they only allow current to flow in one direction. So if you try it one way round and it doesn't light up, turn it round and try it in the other direction. And if we've done this right, you should be able to see the LED lighting up. You can see You can see mine flashing on and off once everything is lined up properly. If your LED doesn't light up straight away, don't worry. Go back and have a look at how you stack the layers, check the instructions in the booklet, or go back to the beginning of this video 